Hey, what's up? I'm Michael, and today I am going to be doing a three-part video uh, of cartooning minions. Now, um, I wanted to do some cartooning videos, and I had somebody suggest the minions, and I know somebody who absolutely loves the minions, so I said, well, I will do minions. So let me, let me make sure that I have everything exactly where I want it to be and the frame and everything like that okay so let's just put it right here for you all right uh we're going to do like i said a three-part video so the first video um i'm going to do the tall one i believe actually i take that back i am going to do the mid one there there's a bunch of minions, but there are three main ones that you always see. Uh, and there's the the mid one, the short one, and then the tall one. Now, uh, the mid one and the short one are pill-shaped. And the tall one is bean-shaped. Um, and let me, ex I'll explain that in just a moment, but um, I'm going to go right ahead and jump in. So... I'm going to do this to where I have, um, let's see, let me put a mark down so I know where I can draw to. I don't want to go below this line. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to split this sort of three ways. And I can come back later and, you know what, that's the wrong one. Let me pull this out here. Um, let's see. I'm just going to say this one is going to be right about here. I'm going to put, I'm just going to put a line here, and then I know that I'm going to have the small one over here, I'm going to put him here, and then let's go on and put the tall one right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, to start off with, this mid-sized one, we're, instead of starting at the head like I normally would, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm, I'm looking at the two of them, or the, all three of them. And the mid-sized one is, he's actually s slightly shorter than the other one, the tall one. Uh, the short one is actually about half the size of him so uh, I'm gonna say that this is the the tall one's head way up here so I know I want this one to come up about here and this one about here um, let me look at this thing I have here okay Okay, so the way that they're drawn is basically uh, they are a pill shape. And when I say a pill shape, what we're going to do is go in here and find I'm going to pull it down halfway on either side. And now by saying pill shape I've what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm just going to draw some lines straight down. All the way down. I'm not going to uh, put a bottom on him yet. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm looking at him and I know that his feet, along with the his head, is comes down halfway of his body. So this is going to be about the halfway point here. 
and uh, then his legs are about one fourth to three eighths of the other half. So we're going to bring up the bottom half about right here. And I'm just going to come straight across with it. And then I'm going to come back with this again. I guess I can put it in like this, huh? I'm going to come back with this again. And I'm. Was it this one? It, it was this one. I'm assuming it was. Um, I'm just going to do that. Now, I have a pill shape. However, the top of their head is a little bit more rounded, so what I'm going to do is come back here and go halfway between the pill shape and the other edge here. And that is going to draw his bottom part. Now... Uh, so what I've done basically is went down almost uh, three-fourths of the way. So this is going to be his body. And we're going to do front views of these this time. I might go back later and do a side view. Uh, down at the bottom, he has his legs basically just come out about a fourth of the way in, a fifth of the way in maybe, and then okay, so we start off with the half circle, we put lines down, we can do another half circle and then draw a straight line across go in between those two to get that that peel shape that he is you can also you can bring this up a little bit and go slightly more up if you want but i'm going to leave uh, the top of his head like this um now at this point his feet they all look like their feet are just just black um areas round it black and that's all you really got to do for their feet uh, i'm going to connect here just so it, it looks a little bit different okay uh now about where about where the original circle met we're going to bring a line over just a little bit not a whole lot but bring it over inside and these just take them up to that midline that you that you made for the entire thing uh, and then at that point you want to take one here and I'm actually going to um, put a circle here and then take this one out just a little more and I'm going to make a little bitty thing right here on the edge and I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Put my circle. I'm going to angle it up. And then connect that circle. And then make it a little bit overlapped. And with this, I'm going to come out at the same, doing the same exact thing. And that way, when we go in, we're going to have uh, an overlap so it looks like he's actually wearing clothes. Now... Uh, I know this is my, these are my construction lines. So here, uh, he has his arms coming out. And what we're going to do is just draw a little line right here beside of his overalls. And uh, we're going to connect just lines now. Just curved lines, slightly curved lines to the body. And... Uh, if you look here, it's about this middle line going across is about halfway of the two lines. So if that's there, then this is going to be about here. And 
I'm going to actually angle this so it's a little bit different. Uh, they look like they have two fingers. In fact, let me open this a little bit more and look at it. Um, now, I'm, I'm not following directly any type of... Um, any reference or anything I'm just getting ideas from several just to see what they look like so he's his buttons are a little bit bigger and they have a plus sign on them okay now right in the middle here uh, sort of the middle from this line to where these are I'm gonna put a line across and I am going to bring that down to about right here um, it's about the same distance from here to here. So I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to bring it out just a little bit. And then I'm going to swoop it up to this on both sides. And you can, you can actually just round the whole thing if you want to. Okay. Now, right in the middle of this, let's see if we can get us one small enough. Yeah, right in the middle of this, there's a circle. I'm going to just use my circle template to get it. And I messed it up. Hold on. Uh, you want to try to get it centered. Okay. We're just going to go with that. Uh, fix it by hand. So, we've got that. Now, this is very weird because... I'm going to go ahead and just sort of black it out. It's the four sides. They come in to make a, a square in the middle of it, basically. And then right here in the middle, it comes in. And uh, it's going to do this. So it's a G in there. And I don't know what that guy's name is. Their leader... Um, his name starts with a G. Um, so, here we go. I believe this one's name is Stuart, by the way. Um, according to the image uh, search thing that I've done, it says that this one's name is Stuart. I don't know what the other one's names are. I've actually never seen Despicable Me or the Minions. My friend wanted me to draw this. so um, I am going to go ahead and actually... I'm going to move this up slightly, and then I'll move it back down in just a moment. I want you to be able to see this better. So their hands are actually going to come down to about the bottom of their, or their little bottom. And uh, the gloves you want to put, uh, basically bring it out and then cut back across like that. And now I'm going to do this a little bit weird. Uh, I'm going to make it a, sort of like a spade shape for both of them. And then we're going to come back and add in one, two, and three. So we're going to add in basically a little thumb. And it looks like they have two little fingers. And this one I'm going to do slightly different. Uh, or actually, I'm going to pull it up here. And I'm going to have the fingers here. So we'll go back and we will actually um, fix this up a little bit when we erase. And then um, when we do our ink over it and all of that, uh, I just want to show the construction lines for it. So from here, he's basically laid out uh, on the bottom. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show a little bit of line here. We want to make sure when we ink it that right here above that, though, there's no line left, uh, that there's no line inked in there. And there's a, the reason for that is that it makes it, it gives it the illusion that there is a shoulder and that there's an armpit. Now, uh, let's see here. His mouth is 
It's going to be located about here. So from this halfway mark, this is the head area. We're going to call the top his chin. Uh, so the mouth will be located about here, the bottom of the mouth, I'll say. And then the top of the mouth. Let's see here. About right here. So let's go around here. And I'm actually going to drop that bottom just a little bit lower. We're going to give him a... Just a half moon smile, basically, um, a half circle smile. And he has four teeth one, two, three, and four. And then he has a tongue. Okay. And then I know the inside is going to be dark, so I'm going to go ahead and shade that. Now, uh, this particular one, I'm going to go on and do his hair. And his hair is basically one, and then two and three. One, two, and three. Okay. Now let me erase this part right here completely. I have the hiccups, sorry. And do this again. One, two, and three. There we go. And now we're missing his eye. And his eye, now, they have these goggles on. And from the front, the goggles are different uh, than they are from the sides. So the sides of them, they have, they're thicker. And they actually come away from their eye and their head. Uh, so there, there is a thickness to them. But in front, they're foreshortened. And all you can see is the little dots around them. So I'm going to, that's how I'm going to show them. And for this one, I think I want to have about this size right here. Now, I'm going to make sure that the lines on this are in there. And from, it looks like from the mouth to the top of the head. Is the center. So from the mouth to the top of the head. Let me make sure. We're going to put a little thing right here. Actually, this needs to come down slightly. Let's put it right there. And we're just going to go with this one here. And I want to go down two sizes now. Actually, let's go down fairly small with the next one compared to that. Um... We want to align it the exact same way. So, and you can do all of this freehand. Um, but I'm just using the circle template so I can show you easier. Now, uh, again, he's going to need another two circles in the middle. And these two are going to be much smaller. Uh see here let me just make sure that I have I want to make sure I have a, um, a line across basically right here and let's actually go with what about like this I think Okay, and from there we're going to go down even smaller. You just want to center it. And I tell you what, that's too big, so let's go down much, much smaller. Just 
get it centered. There we go. And now, there we go. Uh, so this is his eye, but his eye is actually in there as well. So at this point, what we want to do is it, the way that they look right here on the inside, the eye sort of starts right here. It's not like a normal eye. Um, so we're going to just come up, sort of make a, an ovalish eye shaped, um, besides the corners, an ovalish eye shape. There we go. <laughs> and okay. Now they have no ears, but on the outside, they have one, they have no nose either, uh, just little bumps, and then once you get those, go in between all of these. And throw them in there, and there you go. Now, uh, actually, I take that back right here on these sides. These need to be these need to be like this, um, more like bars instead. So from here. We want to make this look like it is turning around his body. So it's going to go sort of up and it's going to get shorter. And then we're going to give it a little bit of a, a lip off the side of his body. Same thing over here. And just a little bit of a lip off of his body. And there we go, the pencil stage is done. Let me grab my eraser uh, so I can do this properly. Okay. Um, the first one I think I'm gonna go for is an O3. Uh, and then I have, now this is just an O3, um, this is a Zig Millennium by Kurataki. Uh, it's just a Micron, basically. Um, a technical liner pen, or a technical pen. So, uh, here he is. What we're going to do is basically just go over the lines that we want to keep. Uh, we don't have to keep anything that we don't want to so I'm lightly going to actually come in here and go on and erase some of this before I put down any ink I want to go ahead and erase a little bit now not a whole lot but just lightly okay so now we're going to get started and uh, I am going to freehand the inking. I'm not going to use any of the the other um, tools that I had used earlier. So I'm going to start right here. Now you can use the tools, and there's there's honestly no reason not to use the tools if you want to. I just like to challenge myself to to ink without those tools. Now I'm going to switch to a smaller pen because this paper absorbs very well. Uh, it, it absorbs more than it should, I should say. So let me see if this one will work. Um,
This will also give it a little bit more character. Because it looks like it's not perfectly drawn. Uh, it's like you've never seen a person that doesn't have a perfect or that has a perfect shape. Everybody has some sort of lump here or there on them. Uh, they have something going on. And I know I just went over that area and I shouldn't have. So I'm going to come down with this one and uh, just go in like that. And I, I also, I know there's a girl out there screaming at me right now. I am the perfect shape. Yes, you are. Every person is the perfect shape that they're supposed to be. What I'm saying is that people have different shapes and it, you're not going to look exactly like um, a perfect circle. You're not going to look exactly like a pill or something. So, Right. He's got the pluses on his buttons. Okay. And if you look at this, I actually gave it a loop around on this side so that it looks like it's going behind him. Um... Slightly going to bring this up to give it more of a, a look like actual overhauls as. My grandfather used to wear overalls all the time. I don't know, besides at a funeral, I don't think I've ever seen him not in overalls. Okay. Now remember, on the side here, um, we're going to leave where his legs are. We're going to leave certain bits of those open as well. And we're going to bring down the legs like so. And then... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually draw in the feet, but I'll come back and do something with them in just a minute. Okay. So, uh, his arms, I'm going to start with the glove outline so that I don't necessarily go over that um, when I'm coming back in. And I'm sorry if my head gets in the picture. I'm just trying to see it enough to do this. All right. Now, if you messed up on any of the, the hands or anything like that, uh, in your sketch, this is your turn to fix them easily. Your time to fix them easily. Uh, you just... You just basically have lines down to figure out what's going on. Now, um, I'm going to get the the larger one, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, um, let's see, now, I'm going to make this slightly different than I drew it, I'm going to put a, um, an extra little piece coming around there to make it look like it attaches a different way and now 
I am going to go back through here and and put those in. However, the reason I'm drawing the bumps instead of going along the circle to start with is because if you are drawing a circle uh, by hand, like I just did here, it's actually somewhat easier if you have an interruption and an interruption um, point starting and stopping basically to you can get those shorter curves easier so now with this big one in the middle I am going to try to go back and um, figure out which one I've done this with I think it was one of these small ones it looks like well, I don't think it was that one. I guess it was this one. Okay. Now, uh, definitely I'm just going to freehand the rest of it though. Okay. Now, uh, I actually think that the the eye part should be down a little bit here, so I'm going to bring that around and bring it down slightly. Now, the top, I'm going to try to put exactly where it's at and follow that perfect curve. All right, so I'm going to come back in here. And you'll see it, it is darkening it up, but it's also going to be leaving a little bit of shadow there and that's what I'm I'm going for is leaving that shadow same thing on the sides okay so I uh, he has his little pocket and Now, if you mess up with this, it is completely fine. There's no reason to be upset with yourself or anything like that. I, I actually just, I moved it on purpose because I want it to show that sometimes... it's okay to mess up. Now, uh, anything that's inside, we're going to, so anything that's black, we're going to go ahead and fill in. And if you're wearing clothes, your folds and the way that, uh, you're standing and stuff like that, it will actually affect the the folds and the way that the uh, the clothes wear. And so you can't really go too wrong just freehanding stuff uh, with clothes because there's a possibility that's exactly how it's going to look. Okay. So the last thing we're going to do with this guy is draw his mouth and we're going to slightly change it to where on the ends it's, it's sort of up a little bit further here and it's coming down here and then all I've done was add a slightly different spot. Now, I'm going to make it so his front teeth are in front of the others. I don't want uh, his teeth to be looking like the, the side ones are actually in front of the others. So start with his, his front teeth. And now, 
You can make his tongue a little bit bigger if you want to, or smaller, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to come in here. And there we go. And I believe his name is Stuart. And we have one more thing that we're going to do with him. And that, hopefully this pen still works. That is to fill in his shoes because they are black. And this is a brush pen. So I definitely want something that will cover a little bit easier. Okay. Now, if you're right-handed, don't do that one first. Do this one first because I can very easily get right in that. Um, if you're right-handed, work left to right. Uh, sort of, or top, top left to bottom right, basically, um, is the best way I've found. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> So we're actually going to make his gloves um, black as well. I think they're actually brown, but for this purpose, we're going to make them black. It has been too long since I've done a cartooning video. It's been way, way too long since I have done uh, any brush work. Now let me show you another brush pen. This is my favorite brush pen. This is the Pentel Pocket Brush, and I love this thing. It is the best brush pen I've ever seen. Now I'm going to lose the definition, but I just wanted to show you the difference based on this paper. Where I just put that down, this brush pen that I just used is actually, although it's the best brush pen I've ever used, with this paper, it's going to be the worst one I can use. I just wanted to make that point. Um, so I'm going to stick to the Faber-Castell one. I do have a Pigma, but it's going to actually do exactly the way that one did. Um, because it's a softer brush and it's just like it's almost um, the same point that the pocket brush has but it's just it's a um, little bit of a softer brush so let me come back with this one this is almost like a felt tip brush tip um, and then the the micron is like a, a fine tip brush tip but it's they're both more like pointed bullet points almost, the way that they're made. So there we go. There is our minion. I think his name is Stuart. Uh, yeah, I will come back and do the middle one in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later, guys. Sorry, guys. I forgot to put in his eyeball. Let's do that right quick. Okay. Now, I'm going to do something else really quick. If I can find it. Um, here we go. He is... Okay, let's say it. He's going to have... something hitting him right there and he's got this glass so I'm going to put it over there like that now now I'll start the next one and I'll see you later Oh, hey. 
thank you for watching my videos. I hope you've enjoyed them. Check out the description for more information and links. Check over here for recommended videos, and I will see you later.